Welcome back, friends. You're just in time for the Johnny Brew Show. Hi, everybody. This is John Brookhagen, host of the Johnny Bruce Show, and we are on location here in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the Nevada School Choice Fair, January 22nd, 2022. They're also going to have another one January 29th up in Reno. So if you live upstate, please, we'll give you a sneak peek, and you'll get to see exactly what's going on here at the School Choice Fair. They got plenty of uh, scarves still left over for Reno. Look at all these great kids, balloons, and picking out their schools. We got the mariachi dancers in full dress and makeup. Plenty of scarves, plenty of bags. Thank you so much. And now you see the beautiful convention center here, which was hosting us. Upstairs, we had all the private and charter schools you could think of. And downstairs, we had all sorts of tutoring opportunities, um, daycares, and you, if it has to do with education and choice, you found it right here. Stick with us because we're going to be interviewing a whole bunch of candidates, politicians, and local personalities so that way you know exactly what you missed or what you'll get to see in Reno next week. All right, I'm here with Shelly Clues. She's an assistant principal at Freedom Classical Academy, which is a charter school towards North Las Vegas. Welcome, Shelly. How are you? Thank you. Wonderful to be here. Thank you so much. And can you tell us a little bit about Freedom Classical, how long you've been there? Are we a public, charter, or private sure, school? I'd be happy to. So we are a charter school. We are not uh, affiliated with Clark County School District. We are with the State Charter Board Authority, so that's how we function. And uh, I've been there for five years since it opened this is our fifth year and it's just a fabulous school it's you know our goal is to make sure that the child is developed into the whole child leadership is strong with us we push leadership for our students and teach them how to critically think and to uh, be a very critical thinker for their whole lives basically. and besides these mantras and these values and these principles you're trying to impart on the students what makes freedom different from say a CCSD school or a typical public school? You know, I always say that uh, when you're in a charter school, you're basically getting private school, you know, education for free because it's paid for by the state. And I think the smaller numbers in a classroom, I think that we have uh, a more of a family run with our teachers. So the teachers are a closer knit. And I think the whole thing all the way around just works really well together. Awesome, and are you guys still enrolling? How does that work? How does somebody find out about more, more about freedom and how do you enroll? So Freedom is enrolling. Uh, our cutoff date for new enrollment is the 22nd, but if you're interested in Freedom, you can come at any time and call us up and we will definitely get a spot for you, put you on a waiting list. So we do everything we can possible to get your students. Can you um, tell everybody your website or how to find out more? Uh, actually, right now, the website would be freedomclassicalacademy.org, and it'll send you to a site for enrollment. You can go on our webpage and, uh, for our school, and they will have an enrollment button, and you can just hit on it and fill out all the paperwork. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure being with you. All right, guys. So now I'm here with Mark Robertson, who was a great guest on the Johnny Brew Show back in November. And one thing I wanted to clear up first, Mark, thanks for coming down, is that we were advertising you for CD3, and then the next week, they changed the boundaries. So why don't you tell us where you're running so that way the listeners know. All right, yeah, the new boundaries have me living in CD1. And I think it's important that you, you live in the community that you represent. And so now that I live in CD1, I'm running in CD1 against Dina Titus. So you haven't moved? No, we didn't move. Uh, the boundaries changed and included our neighborhood. And do you find that to be good news or sorry news? It is excellent news. Uh, CD1 used to be this very compact, very Democratic district, 70% Democrat. Tina Titus didn't have to campaign or raise money. Now CD1 includes Boulder City, Henderson, North, all the way up to the, the, um, the LDS Temple. And it's only 40% Democrat, meaning it's 60% Republican and Independent. So the gerrymandering worked in your favor. Yeah, the actually uh, congressional districts they didn't do a lot of gerrymandering. It's pretty, they're pretty uh, 
it, it, it kind of makes sense to just. So you're saying you're respecting the way they did redistricting? Yeah, at least for mine, it worked out really well. It didn't work out for Dina Titus. Her quote was, the Nevada Democratic Legislature effed me. No, she didn't just say F, but she says they F. Did she really? Yeah, yeah, she's not F. That's very professional. Yeah. And then we're here at the Nevada School Choice event. They're going to be here next week in Reno, this week here in Las Vegas. What brought you down here? Are you here to campaign? Are you here as a school? What are you here for? Yeah, I'm here to support the idea of school choice. I think decisions on education should be made as close to the child as possible preferably by the child's parents. And so the idea of giving parents the, uh, the power and the right to choose what's best for their child, I'm all su I support that 100%. Awesome, and any parting words for the listeners who love you? So most, uh, school choice is really mostly a uh, local issue, but there are things at the federal level. For example, we shouldn't have bureaucrats in DC telling parents what to do out here in Nevada. And so I would look to cut those strings that are in the federal government. Awesome. Power back to the states for education. Absolutely. That's where it belongs. Well, thanks for joining us, Mark. Thanks. Good to see you again. Look who we ran into. Guy Nora, candidate for uh, governor of Nevada on the Republican ticket. Welcome, Guy. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. And um, first of all, we've been talking about you on the Johnny Bruce Show. You had a nice showing at the governor's debate. I see you here at the school choice. How's the campaign going? The campaign's going really well, considering that we started uh, behind everyone because we didn't have a lot of name recognition. Right now, you know, you, uh, our debate performance was really, really appreciated by a lot of people. And I don't know if you saw last week, uh, we placed uh, very high also in the fundraising. And uh, in this business, the polit politics business, which I'm not a part of, I understand that fundraising is really important. So we did well in that as well. So. Indeed, indeed. And then what I wanted to know is, why are you here at the school choice event? My gosh, uh, school, school uh, education is the number one issue in the state right now. And it's kind of inversely proportional, right? We're, we're 50th, so it has to be the number one issue for every person who's serious about solving problems in the state. Well, and on the Johnny Bruce Show, that's what we're always talking about. What people really want to know, the question I get asked about you all the time, yeah. is when is he going to be on the Johnny Bruce Show? Well, I'm going to be in the next couple of weeks. I'm, I'm spent most of my time down here, uh, even though I live in Reno. And as one of those Saturdays, I'm going to be on your show for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the people, pr preferably about education? You know, number one, school choice. I think that's very important. The money following the kids is very, very important. In my case, I'm going to be listening a lot, and I'm going to talk to everybody, and then we're going to make some big decisions that are going to move things in the right direction. So That's more like a CEO. Absolutely. Just like a CEO of a company with a big problem, which we have in education. And I'm very, very gratified at how many people there are here today. It's amazing. This is an amazing event. People cannot not pay attention to this. This is real, but I'll tell you that people can talk about it. Who's going to solve it the right way? Uh, you know, you need somebody who's had the CEO and very complex problems to solve. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, let's so get to work to and good luck. I'm looking forward to it. Same here. Thank you Thank very you. much, Key. Guy Nora, governor candidate for the Republican Party. Thanks. So what's going on, guys? We're still here at the Nevada School Choice event, and we're with Carrie Cox, who's running for city council in Hedder Henderson. Is it Ward 3? It is. Well, Ward welcome. Three. How are you Thank doing? Thank you. Thank you. I am doing great. How are you? Very, very good. What brings you to the School Choice event? Well, I am an educator. I teach kindergarten for Pinecrest, and I have done that for 32 years, and I am, my love and passion is kids. And it's really important to me that parents have a choice, that they get to choose what is the best fit for their children. Right, and tell us a little bit about your experience at Pinecrest Academy. I have absolutely loved teaching for Pinecrest. They're an amazing organization. I highly recommend that teachers check them out because they're great. And then would you uh, have to give up your teaching position if you were elected to city council? You know, I have taught for 32 years and I don't want to give up my teaching position. 32 years? You look like you're 32 years old. <laughs> thank you. You're very sweet. I'm not, but thank you. Um, I. You know, that is debatable. Um, I think I will look at a, probably a part-time position um, because I really want to give the city of Henderson a full-time um, or close to full-time city council person. We haven't had a full-time city council person in this position. 
So I want to give it more time, you know. So I can, I'm going to try to find a way to stay with Pinecrest at least part time. And I'm assuming this is the first time you're running for political office. Why all of? Oh, it's not. Tell me about your political history a little bit. Well, I ran for Henderson City Council last time, so um, four years ago, and I came so close to winning. I mean, it was a very slim, narrow, just a couple hundred votes. So this is your second candidacy. And what made you all of a sudden decide to try to get involved in politics? Well, I didn't really want to get involved in politics because I'm not a politician. But what I want to do is help people. And I've been serving in the city of Henderson at, for years. And I wanted to find a way to make my voice bigger and to be able to help more people. And if you get that big voice, what is the one or two major things that you want to address? I really want to address education. It's so important to me and near and dear to my heart. But the other thing that we really have to address soon is public safety. We have to look at what's going on with um, our officers and what their needs are, what our first responders need. Um, also just recovering from the economy and helping businesses. We, we've got to look at all of those things, you know, recovering from what COVID's done to our economy. Awesome, Carrie. And where can people find out more about you and your campaign? They can uh, call me at 702-306-3302 or they can go on to votecarriecox.com and that's my website. Awesome, and can you spell that? Uh, C-A-R-R-I-E-C-O-X. Dot com. Yep, dot, yep, vote. So vote, carriecox.com, V-O-T-E. Vote awesome, well, thanks so much for joining us and have Thank a great you. time at the event. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you. What's going on, everybody? We're still here at the Nevada School Choice event, and boy, do I have a treat for you. This is the woman I've been trying to get on the show, Erica Neely, running for District F of the CCSD School Board, a seat now occupied by Danielle Ford. Welcome, Erica. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. And what brings you to the Nevada School Choice event? School Choice. I think it's important and we need to have it. So you're here more as a networking and trying to find out what School Choice options are available? Yeah, absolutely. And also meet the parents and their needs. Very good. And as far as running for school board, why is it that you feel motivated to do it? And what do you wish the school board would do differently? Actually, I feel very passionate. Uh, I love this country and our kids are priority and they're our future. So there's no doubt about it that we need to get involved. Awesome. And um, how do you feel about Danielle Ford and the job she's been doing? Um, I think she speaks, her, her record speaks for herself. All right. And what all the viewers really, really want to know from you is when are you coming on the Johnny Brew Show? Soon, soon, very soon. Uh, when you get better, actually. I am better. I'm all better, man. I've been on quarantine and I have been CDC allowed to leave the house. Beautiful. Then I will see you soon then. Awesome. And is it, where can people find out more about your campaign and more about your platform? Great question. So go to vote, ericaneely.com. Vote, V-O-T-E, Erica, E-R-I-C-A, Neely, N-E-E-L-Y.com. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us and we're looking forward to having you, you on the show. Thank you so much. What's going on, guys? I'm now joined by Jenna Walto who is running for County Commission District F here in Clark County. Welcome, Jenna. Hey, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, what are you doing here at the School Choice event? It's nice to see you here. Yes, nice to see you and nice to officially meet you. So I'm walking around here, checking out the different options that we have. I do believe in freedom of education choice. I wanted to come out and support and see what this is all about. And I've had a, a bunch of people reaching out to me and they're wondering, when are you going to come on the Johnny Bruce Show? Hey, anytime you want me, I would be more than happy to come on. And explain to us, what does the county commission work on? How does that relate to education? And how does that relate to you being here today? Yeah, of course. So we are a voice for that as well, for what we believe in the education. County commissioners do a little bit of land, land use and zoning application. They kind of have their hands in different boards as well. The school board does come up to them with the, the budget and everything like that. And the county commissioners do sit on different types of board, water authority board, UMC, airport, and different venues like that supporting within the county. And does your attendance here reflect the fact that as a county commissioner, you would be promoting school choice? Does that include vouchers or what does that include in your eyes? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I do believe in school choice and having that opportunity for parents and, and students too, but to families to decide what's best for them. Good, well, we're gonna have you on the show so we can find out all about you before you were a candidate yes. and find out all about what you're actually gonna be running on. So I'm gonna be looking forward to that. Any way that uh, our listeners could get a preview or learn more about you? 
Yeah, so you can also follow me on all my social media platforms. So at Jenna Wealth on Instagram. Also on Facebook, I am most active on Instagram as well. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to having you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we got the chance to talk with Shelly Clues, the assistant principal at Freedom Classical Academy, a great charter school up here in North Las Vegas. Now we're lucky enough to be joined by the principal and find out what makes charter schools different from public schools and what makes Freedom Classical Academy different from other charter or private schools. Welcome, Jeremy. Well, thank you for having me, John. It's a pleasure to be here. My pleasure. Where is Freedom exactly? Freedom is located in North Las Vegas at North 5th and N Road. And uh, how long has been Freedom been around and what makes it different from, say, a typical public school? Great question. We've been around for five years, so this is our fifth year right now. And there's a lot that makes us different, but number one, it's environment. I have five kids and all of them attend the school. And uh, that's really what we focus on is a safe and loving learning environment, but also with a, a combination of academics also. Right. I mean, some of the biggest problem parents have in the one of the reasons, or a few of the reasons they like school choice is because they like smaller class sizes, they want more accountability, um, you know, they're afraid of other students being bad influences. So what does Freedom do to address these issues? It's a great question. Well, we are a classical school, which inherently has a moralistic component to it. And now we don't teach religion or anything like that, but we do teach values and virtues that uh, are traditional in America. And so when we read literature, we read great literature and we talk about uh, things when we're discussing literature about what makes a good human being and how can we be better human beings. We also have a leadership component to the school and all that kind of integrates to help create a better environment. And how has it been working out so far? You say you've been here for five years. So five years is pretty much like a litmus test to how the success has been. Of course, you've had hurdles and unexpected, such as coronavirus and stuff like that. So how has that five-year journey been, and where do you guys stand right now? You know, it's been fantastic, honestly. A um, little bit challenging at times, but um, as far as culture goes, I think, I think we're nailing it. I think we've come a long ways. That first year was a little bit rough. Um, we are in North Las Vegas and there's great kids there, but they weren't used to being held to a high standard and there was a lot of pushback. But definitely as we went into our second, especially our third year, we saw our kids really fall in line and fall in love with uh, our way of doing things. And, you know, comparatively, I live in a different neighborhood that's all five star schools and upper middle class. And I heard some kids in my neighborhood talking about all the things they have going on at their school drugs in the bathroom, swearing, things like that. We don't have any of that. Now we will have some swearing here and there, but um, you know, for the most part, we don't have these major disciplinary events. Right. Well, I noticed like in the first half of the school year, they've been talking about TikTok challenges, uh, like hitting teachers, stealing teacher stuff, uh, breaking bathroom equipment and stuff. Have you had those same problems at your school? We've had a few minor problems, um, but they were very isolated. There's only a couple students that were perpetuating those, and we were able to quickly resolve those. So overall, you know, I've heard of other schools having fixtures broken and things stolen, things like that. We haven't really experienced that to the same degree that other schools have. Can anybody go to Freedom? How much does it cost? What do, I mean, how does that work? Most people don't know. It's a great question. We're a public charter school, so anybody's allowed to enroll at the school we are lottery based so we're actually coming up on our lottery here in a week um, after that if there's still spots available then it's a first come first serve basis so where can people find out more about freedom classical academy great question our um our website www.freedomclassical.org beautiful well thanks for joining us thank you and onward and upward Pleasure. guys you'll never guess who i bumped into at the school choice event our uh, interview from two weeks ago, Miss USO 18 Nevada, Vasilya Boscovic. Welcome, Ms. Boscovic. Thank you, Mr. Broom. I'm so happy to be here and to see a familiar face. Why are you here at the School Choice event? So I'm a big advocate for education and also spreading my message of time, truth, and you. And I, meant to, I went to many different schools to speak about my platform. So I'm here now to support. Beautiful. And then I remember a couple weeks ago, we were talking about your attendance at the Tech Summit and the MLK Parade. How did all that go? Oh, it was incredible. It, was, it exceeded all of my expectations. 
and the parade was wonderful. I was joined with my two sister queens, USOA Miss Nevada and USOA Mrs. Nevada. And the tech summit was just so wonderful. I actually saw a couple of vendors here that were there as well. Beautiful. And then finally, I just want to make sure, when is the Nationals coming up and how can people support you? It's February 16th through the 19th at the South Point here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Guys, look it up. Vasilya Boscovich, USOA Teen Nevada. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Mr. Brew. Have a great day. All right, guys, I mean, what an incredible day we had today. And to end the day, we're going to talk to the woman who put this all together. You might recognize her from the previous episodes of The Johnny Bruce Show, Ms. Valeria Gurr. Welcome, Valeria. Thank you for having me here today in your show. Thank you for always coming on. I know that you were nervous. I know you do these all the time, but you were still super nervous. Now, as we're finishing up, Tell us about the success story. I cannot believe how many, I mean, it was hundreds of people that showed up today to our event. It was phenomenal. I never, you know, this is the biggest event that we ever had. We had 85 different schools participating and we have nothing left. It was one of the biggest moments. Like I know Nevada wants a school choice. The message that was sent today was loud and clear. Nevada wants and need more school options. The family wants it. And what about people in Reno who weren't able to come? So we're going to have, the good news is that next week we're going to Reno. So on the 29th at Whitney Peak Hotel, we're going to do the same event out there for all the community that wants to have options in Northern Nevada. And what was involved in setting this up? I know we had to take a year or two off because of coronavirus. I went to one, uh, I think it was three years ago that you guys put on at UNLV. What's involved in this and how many partners do you have? I mean, this is quite the operation, such a beautiful venue. Yes, uh, we have wonderful volunteers. Most of the people that are here today are volunteering. Uh, from You see it from parents and kids uh, and vendors, you know, and we also have a National School Choice Week. It's our wonderful sponsor, Bank of Nevada, the Pinecrest Foundation, CSAN with the Charter Schools Association. So all of us, we work together. Of course, the American Federation for Children. So I have a Infinity the Math Institute. Yes, Infinity Math Institute. So all our wonderful vendors and sponsors also come and help me. So it's, it's definitely, you know, I take a lot of time in organizing this event. I do it with a lot of love. I'm a mom myself. So I just want to make sure that if I'm asking parents to come and spend time with me on a Saturday, that they have fun, right. that it is well worth their time. And this venue is so exquisite. It's so beautiful. I feel like I'm at a castle. This is the nicest convention center I've ever seen. What about people who missed it today? How can we find out more about your um, Nevada School Choice program? So they can go to the American Federation for Children website, or they can go to nevadaschoolchoice.com, or if they want to go in Español, Federación Americana para los Niños, they can find all the information. Also, National School Choice Week, if the parents put their zip code there, they choose their state, they're able to find out what options they have around them. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Guys, if you want to learn more about Valeria and her organization, please look up our interview from season number two. Otherwise, I mean, you did an amazing job. Everybody seems so happy. There's so many options for educating your children. Don't think that you're handcuffed. So that's that. Coming to you live from the Nevada School Choice event here in Las Vegas with Valeria Girl. My name is John Brookhagen from The Johnny Bruce Show. Thank you.